Oh, smoke pot. I said, stop it. Stop it. I said, I said, listen, who cares? I mean, you know, it's, it, you know, you're not breaking the, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a harmless crime. Why don't you just laugh it off? And I'll never forget what he said to me. He goes, yeah. He goes, laugh it off. You try to laugh it off. You're not running a company. You know, Jimmy had made a lot of enemies on Wall Street. It was a very competitive Darwinian place. Uh, if uh, they smelled, uh, you know, chum in the water, uh, the sharks are going to circle. In January 2008, Jimmy Kane was forced out of the CEO position and became an unpaid chairman of the board at Bear Stearns. But the firm continued a downward slide. It had more exposure to toxic financial products than any other Wall Street firm. Kane had left a ticking time bomb behind him, and it exploded in March 2008. Rumors swept the financial world that Bear Stearns had liquidity problems, trouble raising cash. When Hank Paulson heard the rumors, he told his Washington staff, this will be over within days. He knew that Bear's clients would immediately pull their cash out of the bank, causing it to collapse. We have some breaking business news tonight. The storied investment bank Bear Stearns is reportedly close to selling its... Paulson was right. On Sunday, March 16th, Bear Stearns was taken over by rival J.P. Morgan in a deal bankrolled by the U.S. government. Just one year earlier, Bear's share price had been a lofty $170. Get this, it's valued at about $2 a share in this deal. Two bucks a share just last year. People thought it was a typo. Bear stock had traded, what, in the, in the 30s or 40s? The, the pre closed in the previous Friday, and so, you know, the idea that it would be worth two bucks a share was uh, impossible to fathom. Okay, can I ask you a question? No. Do you think that 